Hi everybody, welcome to Matrix Live, where we are doing element demos. Neil is on holiday, so I'm pretending to be Neil, but I'm not as cool and I don't have the guitars, nor can I even play guitar. That said, I'm now going to hand over to Doug to tell us what magic is brewing in the Element X iOS lab. Hello, um, so let me share my screen. Um, can you see that? Yes, cool. Um, okay, so um, I'm going to um, do a demo of um, simplified sliding sync, um, which is um, basically um, our transition away from having a sliding sync proxy to using native sliding sync um, directly with Synapse. Um, so this has been built by uh, the backend teams and the Rust team. Like on our side on Element X, we've implemented it, but all we've basically done is added a toggle. So send phrase their way. This is not really much to do with us. Um, and the starting point here is um, I've got um, Element X running um, as it is today. Um, and you can see that um, on, on the right here, I'm just capturing the traffic to see where it's going. And a load of it is going to matrix dot, which is Synapse. Um, but then at the same time, the sync loop um, is being sent to, to this sliding dot, um, which is where the, the proxy is running. Um, and this is, um, yeah, this is running always where sync would. Um, so if, if I'm navigating around the app, um, you will see that it's a mixture of going to sliding sync um, and to, to matrix itself. Um, so what I'm going to do now is on the nightly version, if I go into the developer options, there's this new toggle called simplified sliding sync. Um, and when I toggle it on, it's going to sign me out um, to make sure that I'm starting with a fresh account and the proxy is not going to be getting in the way. So I'm going to sign back in. Uh, I'm going to skip that for now. And so now this looks almost identical. Um, if on the proxy side of things, I clear, um, or in fact, I clear oh, all of the um, previous traffic, you will now see that everything is going direct to Synapse. So it's all going to matrix dot. Um, and as I navigate around, um, yeah, it's all going to this one domain. So now the the, the toggle is working. Um, we're sending everything directly to Synapse. Um, and um, if I send some messages, we should see them coming in. We've got some, um, like this is an early implementation still. So there are some issues with timeline resets and it's all sort of being worked out, but it's just a, this is just to show it actually happening. Um, and it's something that you can test for yourself. Um, it requires the nightly build um, to see the toggle. Um, there are obviously no guarantees that this is going to work perfectly yet. Like if you want to experience like so at your own risk, see what breaks, see what doesn't. Um, if you're trying it on matrix.org, it is enabled, but you need to be on an allow list. Um, so if you know who to ask to get to that, you should be able to get onto it. Um, and otherwise, if you're on your own home server, there is an experimental features um, toggle called MSC3575 enabled, which you can set to true, um, and then you can test it um, on your own um, on your own server. So yeah, that's just a, a quick rundown of what simplified sliding sync looks like. Awesome. This is the shape of things to come. So I think this is the first time we've shown Synapse with native sliding sync in the wild um, at all, um, other than I think one screenshot um, uh, earlier. And huge kudos to Eric Eastwood, who's done most of the um, heavy lifting on this on the Synapse side, and Aaron Johnston, who's been working with him, as well as Ivan on the Rust SDK side, and everybody else on the Rust SDK and Element X teams um, who have glued it all together. Um, it is tantalizingly close. I've been using it on my personal account, um, and it is sometimes a bit sluggish uh, because it hasn't been optimized really much at all. Um, but it is still close enough to actually be um, almost usable. So, super, super. Um, exciting. You could also see the simplified sync um, URLs flying through. Um, it's worth noting that we deliberately did the simplification bit of this um, as rapidly as possible because we're frankly on the clock to try to get this live and stable 
um, in time for the Matrix conference in September, or ideally before it, um, for some of the other folks who really, really want to get um, their hands on it sooner um, than later. Um, so we have a proto MSC for simplified sliding sync, which is a Google Doc that I linked a couple of days ago in, I think, the Element X Android room. Um, it will get published as an actual MSC ASAP. It will almost certainly have some additional tweaks as we refine it because it's still iterating rapidly. Um, and then the URL will change again to be something less obnoxious than simplified sliding sync. We should probably also rename it paginated sync or something like that because simplified sliding sync does not exactly roll off the tongue. So there you have it, things, uh, shape of things to come. So Francois, are you out there to show us um, the Android guys not um, to be outdone by the iOS guys? Yep, hello. hello. Hope you can see my screen and hear me. Yes, you can. Um, so I'm going to present um, some of the latest features which landed in uh, Elementix. Um, they are both related to sending messages. So the first one is uh, the Composer draft. So let me launch video. So um, before, uh, when you were leaving a room while the Composer had, had an active uh, messages, you were losing it. Now, when you come back on your room, if you have not sent your message, it will get uh, restored in the Composer. Um, it's also, um, it can be used also with um, reply mode and is also compatible with a rich text editor. So you can see everything is restored correctly when I come back to the room. Um, it's also work with edition. So if I want to edit uh, my latest message, I replace the board. Uh, by uh, something else. It will also be updated um, when I will come back. So just sorry for the typo. I get back and it's okay. Um, so the second feature I want to present is the sending queue. So um, it's something really useful when you are in bad condition of a network. And um, sorry. Um, yeah, I think it's go back. So um, when I'm on in airplane mode, uh, I can send some messages and you can see they are not sent. So now I will put the phone back online and my message should be sent in order because it's, you want your message to be sent in the order you type them. It's also compatible um, with addition or reduction. So if I send some messages while the airplane mode is on, if I redact one of them, it won't be sent. And if I edit it before it's sent, it will be sent uh, uh, as it is, so it won't be marked as edited. Um, what else can I say? So now I will uh, put airplane mode off and all my messages are sent. Fantastic. Um, it's really good to see the rich text editor um, looking super sexy with drafts um, there on Android and the so the queuing work which i guess is mainly happening at the rust sdk level is working really really nicely i think there is one edge case where it doesn't recover rapidly if you go back onto wi-fi or if you switch networks which bites me occasionally um but that's the only issue that i'm aware of on it and it, it's a huge improvement to the manual retries that we had in the past but it happens magically in the background so kudos to the product org for keeping us developers honest in terms of making sure that the retrying will happen transparently. Thanks, uh, Francois. Right, I think that's it for demos. Uh, unless anybody has any super secret last minute ones they want to sneak in. Florian, does uh, VoIP have their uh, uh, last minute um, demo or is that not gonna happen? No, no, sorry, it's not happening today. Next week, I'm pretty sure we have it, everything together. So I, uh, the, the idea was, 
take a bunch of time to make a demo or just getting work done. And I decided for getting stuff done, work done. And next time we have a super sane demo. Yeah, that sounds like the responsible thing to do. I basically just wanted to give Timo a heart attack to see what happened. Okay, well done, everybody. Let's um, call it early. Have a fantastic week um, or month or whatever it is. Weekend. Let's have a fantastic weekend and speak to you soon. Bye.